So that's what I'm going to do right here. I'm going to bring that up. And that's going to be minus WOL to the third over 24. And now we're going to integrate integrate what we have here in x plus our constants of integration is going to equal our elastic curve equation. And so we go through and we integrate negative w o x to the fourth over 24 plus w o l x to the third over 12 minus w o l to the third x over 24 plus e i my initial and again what we need to do is go back and observe uh, the diagram that we drew. That's why it's important to draw your diagrams. This is going to save a lot of time. All you have to do is observe observe that y equals zero at The supports. The beam hasn't deflected anywhere at the support, so the supports are rigid and they're not moving. And so since y equals zero at the supports, we can say we can let x equal zero. Let x equal zero. And there's an x in every one of our terms. And this is going to equal zero when x equals zero. And so our constant of integration, our EIYO term equals zero. <coughs> that's not always going to have, that's not always going to be the case um, because there might not be a support at x equals zero or something like that. But um, this is this is the general idea. Um, there's no there's no clear there's no clear cut um, way to solve all these problems. You could either use the tables and all of this has been derived and you flip through the book and you get it or you can just kind of remember the concept of of integrating, of figuring out your load equation, figuring out your shear equation, figuring out your moment, figuring out your slope, and figuring out your elastic curve. And you shouldn't have any problem, um, except maybe time-wise. <laughs> but um, anyway, I think that it's a really good exercise in, uh, in logical thinking, and um, it's, a, it's a good exercise. It, it just makes it uh, makes other things easier if you know the full the full way to derive it. You can go back and um, take pieces wherever you need it. <laughs>